Nowadays, it's become increasingly more common for people to have multiple careers. And this means that you either have several careers at the same time or that you are pursuing different careers at different stages throughout your life. And I myself, as someone who has been through career change, can understand why people want to have multiple careers. And um, the most common reasons are because people want to pursue their interests and passions, or that they want to apply different skill sets in a professional setting. But I think that apart from these more individual or personal reasons, there are also, uh, let's say, more um, global or macro um, developments taking place in the world that are reasons for why people are increasingly having multiple careers. There is one study commissioned by the First Direct Bank and reported by Astrid Hall in The Independent which says that more than half of UK workers are not sure if they're even in the right career. So researchers here polled 2,000 people across the country and their finding was that 4 out of 10 people were planning to change their careers within the next two years. And in the beginning, I thought that this perhaps applies to millennials and Gen Z because people commonly say that um, young people nowadays get bored very fast and they can't stick to anything, so they switch jobs a lot. But it was quite interesting to find out here um, that this actually does not only apply to young people, but also to the older generation. So here the head of First Direct, Joe Gordon, says even 42% of the over 45-year-olds plan to change careers within the next two years. And there's also another interesting study done by Workopolis um, named How Many Jobs Do Canadians Hold in a Lifetime? And in this study, they surveyed 4,000 Canadians in September and October of 2014 and they asked Canadians about how many different career paths they had followed. And we can see here that a whopping 76% of the respondents said that they had followed two careers or more. So only 24% of the people had only one career throughout their life. And even 24% of the people said that they had at least followed three career paths so far. So looking at these numbers and findings, we can see that it is much more common than we would expect. So if we think about it, if the most of us are likely to experience career change or have multiple careers, then we might as well make it intentional. The first development is longer life expectations. And if we look at this graph from our world in data.org on life expectancy, we can see that in the 20s, people on average in the world could only expect to get to uh, below 40, here around 36. So if you start working at around 18 or 20 and you can only work until you're around 40 or even 38, that gives you around 20 years to work. And in that case, it makes totally sense to focus on one career instead of switching careers or adding a second career. But now in 2015 and beyond, we can see that life expectancies around the world are at around 70 years old. And in South Korea, in the UK and uh, most of the industrialized world, people can even expect to get to 80 years and beyond. So this means that the duration during which someone can have an active and productive working life has dramatically increased. If you started working at 20, you could choose to work until you're 50 or 60, until you retire, but you can even work into your 70s or even 80s. So nowadays, people have a lot more choices. And I can totally understand that having such a long time span during which you can develop your career, it might feel very limiting to some people if you can only st stick to one career. The second development is an increase in living standards in most of the industrialized world. So remember your grandparents or maybe other people of their generation telling you how hard life used to be, that many people even struggle to meet the basic needs. So nowadays things have changed quite a lot and I'm pretty sure that most of us, especially in the developed nations, have a life that is much better than those of our grandparents. And because our basic needs for food, shelter and clothing are already met, many people now have the possibility to explore other things such as self-actualization, self-fulfillment, self-expression, and they have more possibilities to explore their careers in more depth and also have more lofty career goals. The third development is a fast-changing world. 
Nowadays, there is no such thing as lifelong employment. No jobs are really secure, not even in Japan, I think. And every day we read and hear about the impact that globalization, automation, and also recent developments in artificial intelligence has on the job market. And of course, different careers are affected by these developments to a different extent. But I would say that all careers are impacted or will be impacted in some way by developments in automation and in AI. And there are careers which are on the decline or likely to disappear within the next few years or decades. For example, careers such as typist or a door to door salesmen. You could of course debate whether or not these are careers or if they're just jobs, but I would say for certain that there was a point in time where people would consider being a door to door salesman man, or even a, a professional typist a, a career, a serious career that someone would pursue. But nowadays with the extreme advances that are being made in voice recognition software, um, jobs, careers such as typists are very likely to become obsolete in future. It's difficult to say exactly what impact AI and automation will have on the future because the developments are happening so fast, but whatever your belief about that is, um, it's certain that AI and automation will have an impact on every kind of career that is out there. And this is what I think is really important to note. While the two first developments, which is um, a longer life expectation and increase in living standards is what gives people the option and the possibility in the first place to be able to explore um, more career options and have multiple careers. The third development, which is a fast changing world with a lot of disruptions, is what might even make it necessary for some people to consider multiple careers. So here it is in a way not longer an option, but it might become a necessity for many people. I think that in some way many people are are starting to subconsciously go into that direction, maybe as a way to uh, hedge against the risk um, of, of the possible developments in their future and what might happen to their current careers now. So maybe people want to diversify to have more skill sets um, that allow them to have other streams of income besides just um, the one from their career that they have now. Because who knows what will happen in the future, right? I believe that in any case, multiple careers will be the future for most people. And there's also one other study I want to show you by Adobe on the future of work. And here in their study, they surveyed US office workers and they asked whether people think that in future people are likely to hold multiple jobs or not. And in this study, 56% of the respondents actually said yes, they believe that. They believe that people in the future will have multiple jobs or careers as opposed to just one. And I think that the reason that people respond this way is not only because they see the reality of what is happening now, but at the same time, um, this is also how they themselves are probably imagined their future to be. So what about you? Have you considered to change careers or have multiple careers, switch to a career that is probably on the rise and maybe more secure in the future? I'm really curious to know, so please share with me in the comments. Thinking about these different developments taking place now has also um, caused me to put in some more thought into my own career. So previously I only look at my career at something that happens within the next 5 or 10 years but now I look at my career more long term instead of just looking at what do I want in the next 5 to 10 years. I'm looking at what are all the different things that I want to do in my life that I'm interested in and how can I perhaps even plot these different careers out throughout different stages in my life. I hope that this video has given you some useful insights on multiple careers. I will be posting more videos on this topic in the coming weeks and if you don't want to miss out on any of these, you might want to subscribe and also hit the little notification bell. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon.